Hello, my name is Georgia Kovacic, and today I will be talking about how important sharks are to our marine ecosystems. Shark populations are declining rapidly due to many factors, and overfishing is one of them. The shark fin trade has increased drastically in the past few years with the growing population of the world, making the number of sharks in our oceans smaller every day. One factor to why shark overfishing is such a big issue is because of low reporting on shark landings, or how many sharks are caught by global fisheries each year. About 15% of shark landings are reported, but there are about 38 million sharks landed for the fin industry. These numbers do not add up and gives reason to believe that illegal shark finning is taking place in our oceans. The International Union for Conservation of Nature says that the primary threat for sharks is mainly fishing, with 57.9% of that being bycatch. The information on this slide is by the journal by Al Abdul Razark, from the journal by Britain, and from the fishery lectures in class. Sharks are very important to our marine ecosystem. I like to say that they are the trash cans of the sea, and yes, that is a compliment. Sharks eat dead organisms, which helps keep our oceans clean. They also eat injured or diseased animals. This makes for healthier fish populations in our reefs and other marine habitats. If sharks were not there to help clean up, it would cause a top-down trophic cascade, which would result in loss of biodiversity. Overall, sharks help keep our oceans happy and healthy. The information and picture used in the slide are from my experiences with Coastal Marine Education and Research Academy and Sea Life Minnesota. There are a few different solutions that can help increase shark populations globally, one of which is caused is create by creating more marine protected areas or MPAs that are used for ecotourism. A study done in Fiji on the Shark Reef Marine Reserve pairs MPAs with projects to improve local fishing industries with creating alternative income opportunities in the form of ecotourism. With the protected area being a no-catch zone, the local communities increased their profit for entrance into the area with persons that wanted to scuba dive with sharks. The information and picture used in this slide are from the journal by Bernsweller. If someone is not a diver but still enjoys the ocean and the animals that live in it, they can help protect sharks by an another form of ecotourism, shark watches. A study that focused on global numbers of shark watches, watching areas compared to shark fishing industry in concluded that more money was earned and more jobs were supported by shark watches than by shark fishing. It can be predicted that the number of people who want to shark watch will increase in coming years, while the number of shark fishing will decrease, leading to more stable populations for sharks. This information and table used in this slide are from the journal by Al Abdul Lazark. With these solutions, we can help all of our marine habitats become healthier and better maintained so that the future generations can help appreciate the same oceans that we do. Thank you.